It is Six Flags Sunday, the first weekend opening for 2019 for the next month and a half. It's only open on weekends, but in the end of May it opens full time. So anyway, we came early. As you can see, it's a bit cloudy and wet. It's really supposed to rain and heat up. So we're like, let's see what it's like before it rains. Wise, but it was not on the dining plan. This is the first year it's on the dining plan, so everyone's going crazy. I think we're gonna go to our favorite pizza place. Robert's not, he's not big on Chinese. They're also doing free samples for like members. Like, I don't, who doesn't want a free sample? Me, when there's a huge line. <laughs> I can eat with that sample today. I grew up with that. You didn't take your Chinese food and you have to think hard about it. So anyway, a lot of stuff is still closed. Um, just to be expected. It's like, it is half staff, I'm sure. You know, kids are still at school, so we have to find enough workers just for Saturday and Sunday. I don't know. Anyway, but it's still pretty, it's not as busy as I was expected, but it's still a decent crowd. We just want to walk around before, before it starts raining. Alright, so they took out the water game here. The water game is gone. The water game is gone. I wonder if these are the machines that are at what's the water rides? No, the water ride that oh. we the other main arcade. One of these machines are from the other major arcade. We're gonna walk to that next to see. Because these machines are normally not right here. These are they don't take the tokens, you have to use your credit card. So you have you have to do five dollars worth right off the bat. I don't like that. And then that one's not on. So yeah, I think these are these are either new or these are the ones from the other arcade. So I don't like that at all. You see what I'm saying? Like you don't get a choice. Well, this one does do a dollar, but the other one was five. It's not, it's a credit card instead of tokens. Like the other arcade. You want me? So they got trash on the ground. Trash on the ground. Alright. And they got the Yeti plushes that we got at Bigfoot. At Bigfoot Arcade in Branson. Alright, so they have one new mystery bag. So this used to be down here. It used to be the wiffle ball toss. Now it's not. Five dollars for a small bag and ten dollars for a large bag. Oh my god, I'm so upset. So no wiffle bag toss. No wiffle bag toss. No, I don't want that. Hi. Which one? But all I asked to not end up on the other side of my counter. Right. And if you want a bag back here, 
Okay. No, I can check right. that back here. Um, I, I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, whatever bag you want. So there is a game aspect to it. I give you a hook. I, I right here. Pick a green one. The green in the back. The green in the back. Are you guys kidding? I can't get to that. <laughs> oh wait, you're right. It's not long enough. Do the green in the front. Here, I can put it on the pole. She's willing to put it on the pole for you. <laughs> so there is a game aspect to it. That's funny. There you go. You got this. Yeah. <laughs> that was hard. That was very hard. Okay, I'm gonna ask for me to keep the bag, but you get to open it and see what's sure. inside. Sure. Keep, what's inside? It's a mystery. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. And it, what is it? Oh, oh my god. That. That's cute. I haven't seen those. That is cute. See, like I said, it's pretty good. Yeah. I haven't and you're seen guaranteed that. to win no matter what. You just yeah. don't know what you're winning. Right, sure. right. Sure. It's feeling for this game is so hard. It's like, step on over. You're guaranteed to win. You just don't know what you win. Right, That's true. hilarious. I just didn't, you know, didn't realize there was a hook involved. That's cute. There you go. You. Congratulations. High five. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's not bad. Not bad at all. So this was ten dollar price. I like it. <laughs> a lot easier than the other game. I was complaining to her off camera that they got rid of the goblet toss, and she's like, "I don't know why they did." Yeah. So, um, but this one is prize for sure. <laughs> so yeah, that's where the goblet toss used to be at Screaming Eagle when you leave the Screaming Eagle. All right, so now we're gonna go to the other arcade that is after you leave, what, Thunder Mountain? <laughs> or is that Disney? It's Disney. What's the water ride in the big tubes? Well, I kept, I'm thinking Splash Mountain. Now, Splash, no, Splash Mountain's Mountain. Disney. Thunder, Thunder River. So anyway, the exit for Thunder River is the second biggest arcade. But like I was saying earlier, all those games look like those games. So now we're gonna go check it out and see what they've moved around. I don't think it's we're coming big-eyed teddy bear. To share. No, I think we're. It might be the summer of Dave and Buster's instead of the be. summer of Six Flags. <laughs> not looking good this year. Not looking good. All right, this is where the Supergirl ride is supposed to be. As you can see, it says coming early summer. I don't see it. I don't see that happening. It's really. so weird because they advertise the heck out of it on yeah. their page and everything, like like it's running. I really thought it was going to be open today. It's not. Looking By the right. way, the email we got this week, I really thought it would be open. I thought it was open. I didn't realize they were still breaking ground. That's kind of weird. Crazy. Kind of weird. All right, that's fine. All right, this is weird. They got rid of that other water racing game and put the tables for the pizza place in. That's different. And then over there is another mystery game. So to me, mystery games is how they get rid of extra stock. <laughs> I did one so you guys could see what it was like. But I won't be doing any more mystery games. Okay. So actually there is machines here. So a lot of machines. I think this one's different. This Jackie one looks different. So there's just as many machines, so that means they brought they brought in more machines for that other spot. These are the same machines. That's cool. So it's cool that they brought in more machines, but I'm not a fan of the new ones because they take credit cards and you have to do five dollar plays. And they're all like the E claws that are rigged next to impossible to win. You just have to be lucky that someone else spent tons of money before you. I don't really play these. I just stick with the coin for sure. Uh, I mean, people do win on it, don't get me wrong. But it's one of those that it's you don't win every time. You have to have so many money put in before it pays out. So, unless you're lucky, and you walk up to just the right time, you're not gonna win. So, yep. That is the arcades. I'm actually not gonna play any games besides my teddy bear. So yeah, this might not be the most exciting, exciting video, but at least you guys got to see what is different at Six Flags Arcades. So yeah, I just can't believe they keep doing that whole like mystery bags. Watch the fort for you. It's kind of nice. Alright, last year this was the toilet bowl game. This year it's a hatchet. That's, I cannot believe it. It's an actual hatchet. They have to throw and hit the middle to win the prize. 
only in Missouri are they going to let people throw hatchets with other people around. Maybe they do in Alaska too, I don't know. In Alaska. I'm sure this is allowed in Alaska. How? Am I the only one who does not see the safety in this? That guy didn't even try. They went off the wall. It is an actual hatchet that has to stick to the wall. It is not Velcro. As you can see, everyone wants to try it. They're like, okay, I see this girl. Okay. It must be dull as heck because no one is getting it. Is it a hole or is it a spot? No, it's. I can see actual cuts into okay. this wood. So it is an actual hatchet. It's just dull. So wait, did he get it? Okay, I don't get it. But it's not sticking to it, so what is the... Okay, let me see what it says. Oh, I get it. Alright, never mind. Okay, I get it. It is a hole. They are throwing the hatchet into the hole. Alright, it is not a real hatchet. I feel much better and a little stupid for assuming it was. It is a wooden foam hatchet that they are throwing to the hole. Not really a throw. No, no people will be hurt in the making of this game. <laughs> that makes more sense. So yeah, that red bullseye is actually a hole. So yes, get it through the middle. And it is quite possible because I have seen at least 10 people with these prizes today and this is the only game with these prizes. Makes sense. If we actually had a prize that we liked. Quite interesting. But what's, what's the message? I thought it was more of an off than it is to throw. It's people who throw, it just bounces right back off. Okay. Oh, she did close. That was close. That was very close. Looks like. Oh, 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 See, it's quite possible. Any of these guys? Yeah! <laughs> All right, and it is pretty cool. This is the most popular game of the day. Oh, that was way too short. All right, we get used our meal plan for the year. We got pizza. I think this is the best value for it. This is one meal plan, but you get pizza and the cheese bread, so you can split it for two really easily. And then this is the all you can drink cup for the year. All right, so this is the Stray Rescue of St. Louis. It was pet adoption weekend. They had a bunch yesterday. They have a couple of puppies. Yesterday, they had a bunch yeah. more stuff. Stray rescue of St. Louis. I got an answer today. I use that. And it doesn't, it doesn't make your hair crunchy, but it keeps it. This is day two. Interesting. Um, I'm kind of glad that all the animals were adopted because I was worried I was going to come here and want a dog. I was like, no. Okay, so this says Palace Runzels. This actually last year was an arcade. So now that answer, let me peek in here and see if there's any arcade games in here. And I'm sure they're not. So, nope, there's not. That explains where all those extra arcade games were up by Screaming Eagle. They are from this that is no longer an arcade. Which actually I think that's like the best choice they, had, they could do because it was kind of like an out of the wall arcade place and a lot of people hung around doing stuff they shouldn't have been doing. So, anyway. Snack credit, funnel cake, got the funnel cake because honestly, look at that funnel cake line. Exactly, there's no line. That's the only time this year there will not be a line at funnel cakes. It's always a super long line. So this is our one and only funnel cake of the year. <laughs> Alright, they got a new game, hang time. Excuse me. So if you can hang for 90 seconds, unassisted. Player must hang with both hands, facing Sandra. 
So, and then the hatchet game is new, so that's two new games. Can you think of any others? I think that's, oh, and then the mystery, but I don't count that as new because they always have some version of that mystery bag game. All right, so Robert needs to practice his pull ups hanging, from a, hanging from a bar for 90 seconds. I actually was reading about that, about how it's good for, if you, for your, your muscles and stuff. It's yeah, it is kind of thing. funny because we were talking about getting a hanging bar the other day, even before we knew about this game, because a Robert, a couple years ago, pulled a muscle in his arm. Yeah, oh, hold on, I ripped it. He ripped, ripped, ripped it. Completely, completely ripped a muscle in his forearm. And he had a surgery. The bicep. Bicep. And he had a surgery, and one of the physical therapies is to uh, suggest it to hang on it, because it gets tight every once in a while and sore. So he asked. So, I tried to move a cast iron tub. Well, actually, I did move the cast iron tub through the house into the garage. And I guess my, my yes. muscles had had enough of that. And he snapped five, five it. Oh, I was there. You could hear it snap. Yep. It was very traumatizing. Hey, I got that bathtub out, though. So we did. That's the old house. It's a heavy one. So, anyway, physical therapist suggested to get a hang bar. So it might come in handy for a game at St. Louis like at Six Flags. Titanium something in my arm now. I know. And he actually makes it through TSA security without an issue. We thought we were worried he was going to get yeah. set off alarms, but I guess it's not big enough to set off any alarms. Well, stronger, better. Stronger, better? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, we're doing one more loop and then we're going to... Did that suffer from something? I think it's the six, six million dollar man. Yes. Right? Was stronger, better? Didn't we have to pay a deductible of $5,000 for that or something? It was a very expensive, very expensive bathroom renovation. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it was. Would you it, count the hospital bills? Yeah. It was a very expensive bathroom renovation. I should have had somebody else's help. <laughs> oh, well, lesson learned. All right, we're leaving Six Flags. We lasted, what, an hour? 15 minutes. No, we were here longer than 15 minutes. Okay, so it opened yesterday because today's Sunday. So it's just Saturday and Sundays for the next three or four weeks. Um, so yeah, everything's not open. It was fine, we had fun. There's a couple new games, um, carnival games. So, but arcade wise, uh, we did not play Wizard of Oz. It's just, there was like a couple crappy cards. The prizes are no big deal. I'm just being a little more picky with how I spend my money because we're traveling a lot this year. So I want my money to last a little longer. So no Wizard of Oz at Six Flags unless it looks pretty darn good and it was looking like crap. So I don't know how many Six Flags videos I'll be making this year. I don't know. We did play one carnival game, if you can even call it a game. It wasn't a game. You picked a bag. A mystery bag. The garment hook. They try to make <laughs> it was a garment hook. It You're was, right. Yes. They tried to make it into a game by you had to grab a bag with the garment hook. So anyway, I don't know. It's fine. Um, we like Six Flags, but and for us, if let's see, I've mentioned it before. We live like 15 minutes away. We have season passes. We have free parking. We have a dining plan that we share. It's actually we have one dining plan. That, I see that car. I'm not gonna walk in front of that car. Um, so yeah, we only bought one dining plan. I don't know if everyone will agree with that. I don't care. Um, we share a dining plan. We have each had our own dining plan before and we just felt like we wasted a lot of food. We threw a lot of food away. So we just have one dining plan and we split the food. And it works out, it works out great. And what else? So yeah, basically for us, since everything is already paid for, we did spend $10 on this game and that was it. Everything else was covered. Um, 
15 minutes away. It's just for us, it's a nice getaway to just walk around, play some Pokemon, get some exercise, people watch and have a free lunch. So, and the arcade games was a nice bonus, but unfortunately wasn't impressed with any of the arcade games. The Six Flags has a lot of the claw machines, the Elot claw machines um, that are just next to impossible to win. So I, we don't normally play the claw machines, we just play the Wizard of Oz. And like I said, last year they totally changed the settings on the Wizard of Oz. Um, and they don't put out as many good cards as they used to. Honey, we're right here. We're right next to this pole. And then, and then also what else did they do? Um, they used to have like this bonus where you got like tons of extra plays but then they took that bonus away so long story short short it's just there's no purpose there is no point in playing this when Dave and Buster's is such a better value so anyway that's my thoughts and feelings so I will try to do more video at Six Flags this year I just I don't know don't know if I will because I just don't know if we'll be coming that much um, don't know. anyway thanks for watching Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you later.